we're back up here in Michigan and the reason for putting this trail camera out is after the review I did on the Seumer CY65 Dave from the hunting farmer sent me a message and just told me I probably had a bad camera all of the cameras he's tested from Seomer, he stated, were really good quality cameras. So I contacted Seomer and asked them if they would like to send me another camera. I'd be happy to do a follow-up review with a different camera and see if it was in fact just a bad camera. And they said they would be happy to do that. So they sent me the camera that I'm going to put out today. So we're going to put this camera out. We're going to do some testing on it, see how this camera performs, and I'm going to do a follow-up review. Hopefully it was just a bad camera and I'll be able to show you some really good footage. So with that, let's get in the woods and let's get this camera hung up. So before we get into the results of the Seumer CY65, the second camera that I'm reviewing, I just want to give a little backstory. They sent me another camera. Unfortunately, when I checked that camera out, it had a black spot right in the center of the screen, which I'll show you just a couple quick snippets of that right here. Other than the black spot, the clarity seems like it's good. So I reached out to them again and let them know about it they were really disappointed in that and said that uh, i should not have received a camera like that that somehow that missed their quality control they asked me to send them additional um, footage with the black spot and pictures of the camera lens that they could send to uh, their quality control folks and let them know what happened they then sent me a third camera which is the one i'm reviewing in this video so I had the camera out just for a little while before we left Florida. Some of the pics, like this bird here up close, were really good. The bird was clear. But if you notice the trees across the water that are behind the bird, those are clear. And the trees about the same distance across the water in front of the bird, those are a little blurry. Here's a couple more pics just to look at the trees to the right and then look to the left and you'll see what I'm talking about. The trees to the right are much more clear. The trees to the left, you almost feel like your eyes are playing tricks on you. Here's some video footage as well and you'll be able to see it's clear to the right and it's just a little bit fuzzy or a little, little hazy to the left. So once we got up to Michigan, I put the camera out on public over an old scrape that I freshened up. I also put up another camera behind the CY65, about 10 or 20 feet behind it. And both cameras got the same footage. So uh, the CY65 did not miss anything. It, it, they both had uh, the exact same footage. But even in this video where I'm showing you the scrape, you can see the trees to the right are clear and the trees behind me are not as clear. It's, it's hard to notice, it's not blatant, it's not extremely fuzzy or blurry, but there is a difference. Now there's good nighttime pictures and videos as well and the CY65 does have really good audio. You can hear every footstep of the deer. You can hear the birds in the background. Uh, there is really good audio. I also want to mention that the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connection worked just fine. Every time I went out and connected, I never had any drop connections. It is a little bit slow transferring those pictures to your phone. Uh, but I think that's normal. You're still able to do it if you're 
hunting in a stand close by within 30 to 50 feet you can transfer those pictures right to your phone and sit in the stand and, and look at the pictures so it's a really nice option I don't want to make too much about the blurry spot in all honesty I think it's probably very minimal uh, it's even hard to see at times uh, depending on the lighting conditions you can see it a little more than other uh, overall I think the camera is a really good quality camera I hope this review of the Seumer CY65 was helpful and I really appreciate you guys tuning in watching this review if you're not subscribed I would ask you to subscribe give me a thumbs up if you find reviews like this helpful and go ahead and hit that bell notification for future product reviews like this and saddle reviews but most importantly, I hope you get out and enjoy your own adventures. Take care.